Hi, we are doing a full body toning Pilates workout today and we're gonna start standing. So you're gonna stand at the back of your mat with your feet hip distance apart, arms at your sides, take an inhale and then exhale, tuck your chin and we're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale when you get there and exhale, we're gonna walk our hands out. So we're just getting right into a nice sequence to warm up your body. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hips come up and back. Feel the heels drive down towards the floor. They may not touch and that's fine. And then you're gonna walk your hands back towards your feet and then roll yourself back up. And we're gonna do that again. So this is gonna be more of an intermediate level class. I have plenty of beginner and gentle Pilates classes to check out if this feels too much. Otherwise, I just encourage you to try what you can. You can always modify, you can always rest as needed. Okay, take an inhale. Exhale again, hips up and back. Walk your hands back. We're gonna do that one more time. Roll yourself back up. When I taught in-person classes and owned my own studios for years and years and years, I taught almost every mat class starting this way. I love it as a full body warm up and just gets you right into that idea that everything is going to work. So stay here. Elbows are slightly bent. You can come down onto your knees for this if you need to. Right toes are gonna point. You're gonna lift, lower, lift, lower. This is called leg pull. Again, just do it right on your knees and lift a bent knee if you need to. Three, two, one, switch legs. You're trying to lift without letting anything else move. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. One more time up and back. And just let your feet pedal here. Stretch out your calves. Nice job. And then we're all going to bring our knees down. Okay, so let's again find our hands underneath our shoulders. Elbows slightly bent. Really check in here. It's important if you get pain with plank that you make sure you don't lock out your elbows. That's going to cause pain in your wrists. So they're slightly bent with the elbow creases facing each other. Then from here, right leg back, lift, lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two, one, nice job. Now, take that leg, tap it to the left side of your mat, lift it up and to the right. So down to the left, up to the right. So really kind of getting right into the glutes here to start with lots of arm work as well. So you're gonna get some of those defined arm muscles here just by making yourself learn how to do some work on all fours like this. So we're weight bearing through our hands. Three, two, one. Place it back down. We have another side. Reach the left leg back. And we're just gonna lift and lower. Think about keeping the entire center of your body just nice and engaged. Nice, stay here. Lower the foot down and to the right. Lift up to the left. Really try to power it up. Feel how your obliques start to work here as well. It's a great way to work your core without having to do a single crunch. Three, two, one. Bring it back down. Nice job. Come right down to your elbows. We're gonna give your wrists a break but still make you work through that upper back. Right leg is gonna come off, flex your foot and lift it up and down. It's like you're trying to put a footprint on the ceiling. So again, just right into the glutes and the hamstrings. Three, two, one, leave it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower back down, other side. So make sure you're not sinking in your shoulders. 
you're really pushing away from your elbows. Flex the foot on the leg that's lifted. Four, three, two, one, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down. Nice job. Stay on your elbows. Palms down. Step one foot back with the toes curled under. Other foot back and find your forearm plank. So we're on our elbows. Belly is lifted. Legs are strong and head is in line with your spine. So don't let your neck drop down. You're looking probably right between your thumbs. Four, three, two, one and just let your hips come down so that you're here. So my legs are hip distance apart and my elbows are in the exact same position they were in before. And now what I want you to do is really press your hands down and see if you can straighten and then bend so the elbows just kind of tap and then straighten up again. Last two, head is forward, last one, nice job, elbows down. Okay, listen up, one more forearm plank. So curl your toes when you're ready, one leg and then the other, and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, nice job, knees down, walk and press back for your child's pose here. And you should be nice and warmed up now. <laughs> Roll yourself up and come all the way up onto your knees. So we're gonna turn sideways on our mat and you're right in the middle. We're gonna bring the left arm out and the right hand is behind your head. And you're gonna tip yourself over to the left and as you do, your right leg comes up. So we're gonna take just a moment to set ourselves up. Your hand is in line with your knee and then press your hips forward. Then straighten the leg out. Now drop and lift. So you're lowering the leg, tapping the ground, right? So this is similar to what we did at the beginning on all fours, but now on your side, you're gonna get more of that outer hip and you're really getting the bottom hip working too. So keep pressing the hips forward. They're gonna to wanna to sink back. Three, two, one, leave it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, come all the way up. Other side. <laughs> so we're gonna go straight over, take your time. Hand is in line with the knee and then leg straightens, press the hips forward. Tap, lift, tap, lift. <sighs> nice job, really again, kind of power that leg up. <sighs> Four, three, press the hips forward more. Two, one, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, come all the way up. Okay, listen up. We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna change it a little bit. So I'm gonna bring my right leg out straight. Now both hands are behind my head and I'm gonna tip myself over to the left and then lift back up. So inhale over and then exhale. Use the obliques to come back up. Nice job. If you need a little support, what you can do is bring the left hand down and that makes it a little bit easier and you can kind of tap the ground and use that support, okay? Last two. Nice job. We'll just bring it in and switch. 
So sometimes it's easier not to think too much about it. Sometimes it can feel easier just to switch right to the other side. So again, bottom hand can be down. Three, two, and last one. Nice job, hands down. All right, so we're gonna sit and we're gonna face the front of your mat. Legs are gonna glue themselves together. Arms in front, inhale. Exhale, curl your tailbone, roll yourself onto your back. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, arms come up. If you have a hard time coming up, it's very common. I have a video, a quick tutorial, how to make that easier. And it just includes grabbing a towel and using it on the mat in your low back. All right? So definitely make sure you go find that because <clears throat> I want you to feel more empowered in this movement. <sighs> Which is definitely possible. Don't just think, oh, I have low abs or I have weak low abs. It's not about that. We can, we can help. Okay, roll down just to the point that your shoulder blades are just off the mat. Bring your right leg in, left leg is floating. Here we go, single leg stretch. So you're gonna switch, switch. Really reach the leg out, out. Four, three, two, one. Hands behind your head, twist to that leg, everything center. Twist to the other side, everything center. So I'm still really reaching that opposite leg out, trying to keep the crunch. Four, three, two, one, and roll yourself down. All right, so let's find ourselves on our mat with your legs hip distance apart. Feet are flat, arms down at your sides. Take an inhale and then exhale, curl from your tailbone and roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Just let yourself start to sink back down. Take your time. We're gonna do a few, catch your breath. I'm definitely Breathing a little hard after that sequence. So we've already have ab toning. We've gotten into your obliques. We've gotten into some arms. And now we're getting into the legs again with this sequence we're gonna move into. Specifically for your legs, your glutes, your booty, and your hips. Okay, roll up, stay here. Bring your right leg to tabletop, lower it back down. Other leg and lower. I want you to remember this piece because if anything we're about to do feels too much, you're gonna come back to this, to this marching. Okay, where you're trying to keep the hips level, don't let one hip drop more than the other. Nice job, stay here and roll back down. All right, inhale, exhale, curl, roll up. Bring that right leg to tabletop. Make sure you feel really secure in that left leg. Right leg's gonna reach up, lower it down, lift. Lower, lift, four, keep it really straight, three, Two, hips up, one, bend, lower, other side. <laughs> Three, two, one, bring it in and down and roll it back down. Nice job. All right, we are gonna go and separate our legs to mat distance apart and have them slightly turned out. 
Okay, so about 45 degree turnout. Inhale, exhale, curl. Roll yourself up. Keep your hips lifted and you can do little pulses of the knees out. Little like butterfly wing pulses with the knees. Hips stay up. Four, three, two, one. Stay here. Now the hips are going to lower, lift, lower, lift. Really press through your heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it again, butterfly. Ten pulses each. Six, five, four, two, one. One and down, up, down, up. Eight more, you got it. Try to relax your neck. Four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Nice and slow, slow, slow. One of the ways you can prevent a cramp is actually by moving really slow. When it wants to cramp up, try to come out of it slowly and then relax. Just let your knees drop together. Good job. All right, and let's hug both knees in again. So you have both knees in. You're gonna tuck your chin and roll up here. So you're gonna have some options. I'm gonna reach my legs up towards the ceiling and my arms are reaching nice and long away from me. You can also have hands behind the head, which I'll warn you is harder in some ways, or you can just be flat so you don't have to be in a crunch. We're gonna turn the legs out, lower and lift, <sighs> lower. Really use that exhale to help get the legs back up. Three, two, one. Nice job, lower them halfway, stay here, beat your heels. So heel, 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 heel. Four, three, two, one. Knees in. Roll down, nice job, rock it side to side. And let's roll on to our left side for side plank. Okay, so we are gonna go right into a full side plank. And I'll show you a modification after I show you the full one. So we're gonna have the left hand down, <clears throat> it's underneath my left shoulder, and my ankles are crossed with my right one in front. And then what happens is you lift up, your legs squeeze together, and we're gonna side over here. So we're actually going all the way into a side bend, stretch, and then you bend your knees, come back down, you just barely tap the ground, and you lift back up. So your modification, or just a variation if you need it, is you just keep the bottom knee down like that, okay? And that's a great way to get used to the motion of this side bend. So if you're coming all the way up, really squeeze the legs together. So we're getting obliques, but for our toning purposes for this workout, this is arm. <laughs> this is shoulder and triceps. So you really want to make sure that you're nice and strong and controlled in that arm, okay? Don't sink. One more. <sighs> nice job. Come in. We're just gonna bend our feet back so we can stretch over to the right. And then we'll do the other side. Right hand down. I have my left foot in front. When you're ready, up and over. Nice job, really feel like you're squeezing and facing your whole body forward. You're not trying to twist up towards the ceiling. And again, keep the bottom knee down if you need to. Let's do two more. You can do it. Believe you are strong, that's what I want. I want you to feel strong. Bend your knees. And to me, strength is about you feeling confident in trying something. It's not that it looks perfect, ever. That's not true strength to me. 
Strength is that you have the confidence and you feel empowered in your body so that you can try it, that you feel safe trying and you feel safe even if it doesn't work. That's what I want for you. So let's stretch it out. Bring the legs in front, glue the legs together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward. Slide your hands along your sides. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And restack your spine. Nice job. Thank you so much for joining me. That was great. I hope you feel stronger. And I will see you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.